Hello, uh, Phil Quirt from, from HBP Training and HBP NLP. Um, uh, just a quick video really, just to uh, have a chat about a few things that I've been thinking about on my, on my little run. Uh, usually when I come out on this, on this run, I kind of show the, the, the backdrop and the amazing views, but obviously today up on Sugarloaf, it's, uh, yeah, you can't really see a thing. Um, but I, I, what I wanted to do was talk a little bit about um, uh, internal dialogue uh, and gut feeling and the difference between the two. Um, so on the way up here, I sort of set, set myself the challenge that I was going to run the whole thing, not walk, uh, not even put my hands on my, on my thighs and try and push myself up. It's, it's kind of 3K all uphill from, from where I live. Um, uh, some of it sort of fairly shallow uphill, but quite a lot of it is, is fairly intense, probably about 1,800 metres, 2,000 metres of, of really steep steep climbing, hence why I'm, why I'm hanging out now. Um, I, and and as I started to run up, my internal dialogue started to start to go mad. You know, giving me excuses to to, to walk, um, giving me lots of reasons that, that I could do it, uh, and it'd be absolutely fine. And I think what a lot of people potentially do um, is they mistake internal dialogue for gut feeling. Now, now, gut feeling is the feeling you get throughout your body when you when you when you th you think you know something, but you can't you can't verbalise it. But it's kind of you get this feeling in your stomach and, and really it's a theory of galvanic skin response um you know lie detector tests you know your unconscious brain doesn't really speak with with words it speaks with uh, symbols and feelings uh, uh and chemicals adrenaline um so you get you got feelings now what people potentially can do um and i've done it myself is your internal dialogue has given you all these reasons to stop um you kind of think that's your gut feeling, you know. You know, you know, what if I have a heart attack? Um, you know, when really deep down you know that that you're not going to have a heart attack at all. In fact, you're probably getting stronger with every step you don't listen to it. Um, but you have to you have to kind of control that. You know, professional athletes uh, are extremely good at controlling that internal dialogue. Um, positive reaffirmation, you know, over and over again. Um, you know, and don't let that that sort of um, the the negative voice take over the positive voice. There's actually a really good story that um, Native Indians tell about two uh, two wolves inside every man, two spirit wolves. Uh, and one wolf is, is strong and honest. Um, is a good wolf. It will always it always accept challenges. It'll take things on. It'll it'll seize opportunities. Um, and another wolf inside is 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 lazy. It'll it won't take challenges. It'll stay in bed. It'll it'll lie. It'll be jealous. It'll do all the bad things that that we we kind of do as humans. Um, and these wolves, they fight each other um, uh, all through your life. You know, the good wolf fight and the bad wolf for, for dominance inside. Um, and, the, and the real nub of the story is, you know, which wolf wins? And really, it's a different wolf in every person. And it's, it's the wolf that you feed. So I would encourage you, um, you know, if you do any sport, um, if you do anything that requires a little bit of determination, whether you're trying to lose a little bit of weight, uh, trying to achieve some goals, uh, uh, trying to train for an Ironman, whatever it might be, is you need to feed that strong wolf, feed the good wolf. Um, because when you're on your Ironman, when you're at your lowest losing weight, when, when, you, when, you, when your challenge seems furthest away, that is when that, that negative wolf really will take over uh, and sabotage. Um, thank you very much. Uh, Please come and join us at hbp-nlp.com or hbp-training.com, um, and you know we will be starting to upload more and more videos as we as we kind of as kind of we introduce new concepts with our NLP and our training. Thank you.